everyone, I'm just here today because my one hive is queenless and has been for about a month. Um, there is no laying workers or anything like that. I'm not really sure what happened. I did introduce some mated queens, uh, but I guess it didn't take in that hive. And I've just been so busy I didn't check. Um, so it is a little late now. It is mid-September and... It's a little late for me to be um, rearing queens or anything like that, especially if I want them to build up their brood before the winter. So I'm going to combine it with this hive because as you can see they're bearding and running out of room. So I'm just going to combine those two together and then in the spring I'll just split them again. So I think that's the best option for now um, until I can get uh, queen rearing and all of that sorted out. I think it, it's just too late to experiment with that kind of thing. So, let's go. Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees To combine hives, I use the good old-fashioned newspaper method. Um, so you just put newspaper in between the two colonies and stack them on top. And they will integrate. And by the time they chew through the newspaper, they'll be used to each other's smell and all will be well in the world. So this hive is just popping. quite a few bees because my smoker broke. I'm not having the best of luck this year. Um, in terms of equipment, that sort of thing, so I will make do with what I have. So we got a newspaper layer in between, so they'll chew through there and eventually be all integrated. And you can see that some bees have started going into the hive next door because they have no idea where to live anymore. Uh, 
I will be coming back to cut the grass once everyone's settled because it is really long but I just didn't want to get little blades of grass in my honey supers when I was bringing them in. I'm just going to do a little check on my hog comb super. I moved it because the bees or the hive that I had it on wasn't really working on it at all. So I just want to see if this is a possibility for this year or if I should try it next year. building it up but not a lot so I'm not really sure what to do with that so I'm gonna look up some other methods I saw one where they sprayed like sugar water on top um, I might put some, I did already put some honey on top and that didn't work. Like a few of them are working in there, but not really. Hmm. This is a really strong colony, they produce the most honey. So what I might do is start feeding, like put a bag on top, I'll need a deep inner cover so I might put some syrup dripping on top and just see if that brings them up into here um, I'll try that later on not right this moment but I would really like some honeycomb for my honeybee festival on October 1st so we'll see that gives them three weeks to make me some honeycomb. There is still hope. I think I'm done for now. It's just a little disappointing that I've already had to combine those hives, but there really wasn't enough bees to make it through, which is a bummer. Somehow the whole top of my smoker just popped off. So 
Well, that sucks. I just have to get a new one. Although it does seem like it fits in there and then this little lip curls over. So we'll see if I can somehow put it back on. Stop recording. Stop recording.